Hours Act with Full Compass. We are now at the Waves booth. If you have done anything live audio or have worked in DAWs and recording, you know Waves. Everybody knows Waves. I'm here with Jeremiah. He's the Senior Product Specialist for Waves Live. Jeremiah, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, thanks, man. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. And I know you guys are having a great NAM because you have an exciting new product. Can you tell us all about it? Yeah, sure. So uh, we just introduced a new product called the Super Rack Live Box. Uh, the concept for the Live Box is an all-in-one hardware DSP solution uh, that allows you to run your favorite Waves or third-party VST3 plugins. Or third-party. Or third-party. So you can run Waves plugins, you could run Fab Filter, you can run Plugin Alliance, whatever you like. Um, so this gives you the ability to run anybody's plugins uh, for your live show in low latency. Um, Connectivity-wise, we've got implementation for Dante and Maddie, so you can connect it to almost any live console. Uh, and have your plugins available to you for your live show. Uh, and that's all hosted natively on the hardware. Uh, so the hardware is hosting the software and doing all the DSP. Uh, and it's all hosted in our Super Rack platform. So Super Rack is something that live know how to use. It's already integrated into their workflow. Um, so that'll be nothing new. That'll be something people can adapt to really quickly. Now, if you were gonna test the heck out of it, like how many plugins, how many native plugins are you running simultaneously to? It's really hard to quantify when we're talking about third-party plugins. Everybody's plugins require different amounts of DSP, different latencies and things like that. So it's hard for me to quantify that personally, but just as kind of a reference point, you know, I've got uh, about 32 channels loaded up here with plugins on every channel. Um, and we are only using maybe about 25% of our processing power <laughs> here. So uh, I would say this is going to be equivalent to if your sound grid user uh, our current Titan SoundGrid server, uh, which is our top tier. It gives you tons of DSP for running plugins. Uh, we're looking at about the same level of DSP. And on the uh, on Super Rack, is it always 64 channels? Is that the... Yeah, so Super Rack is 64 channels. Uh, your channels can all be mono, stereo, 5.1 or 7.1. Uh, the Dante interface uh, card is going to be 64 channels uh, at 96K, up to 96K. Uh, we, well, will, we will have MADI implementation also. I don't have the full specs on that yet, but we'll have that announced very soon. That's so great. Now, I just want to do a quick, like I can see you're running plugins on the all all 32 of these first channels have plugins and you're at 25% of CPU. That's incredibly powerful. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Oh my gosh. Well, super exciting here at Waves Live and we are, uh, we're going to take a short break and we're going to pick it up over in Waves uh, for plugins for DAW which is something that I love so much because I do a lot of recording. But uh, Jeremiah, thank you so much yeah. for chatting with us. I appreciate it, man. Congratulations. Hey, everybody, we are still here at Waves Pro Audio. We just did the live uh, the live section for the live box, which is freaking awesome. So check that out at fullcompass.com. But now I'm here with Yanni. Yanni's in the studio section of Waves. Me as a recording, whatever I am, producer, I love Waves plugins. Uh, you have a couple new plugins that you're very excited about. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so a uh, new plugin released about a few days ago uh, called Space Rider. Uh, Space Rider? Space Rider, and you'll very shortly understand exactly why. Okay. Um, it's a, like a multi-module uh, reverb uh, space designer kind of plugin. Let's oh, see. cool. So it has a, a reverb section, a delay, and a chorus, all pretty standard most users should find their way around sure but the real interesting part is the rider section uh where it allows me basically to map two different states of effect like maybe a big reverb and a small reverb yeah so i can kind of map this out like let's say this is big and, and just quickly and, and and this is small yeah like even taking the decay down things like that and then i can like smoothly transition between states and Whoa. Yeah, and, and, and the really interesting bit is when I can trigger the rider by the input. So it's muted now, but just like you would see what I'm talking about, um, the the vocal should move the rider Whoa. And, and, and create this uh, docking effect where as the vocal pulls out, the reverb gets longer and brighter and it's, and it's pulled forward, the reverb goes backwards. So we can really be like creative and like manipulating the reverb dynamically with this plugin, which is yeah. really unique. That's okay. so cool. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get home tonight around maybe eight or nine. And that's what I'm going to do is buy this. This is the first thing that get lost in space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Amazing. Okay. Uh, 
And then you have uh, Studio Rack, I believe, right? Okay, so now we're presenting Studio Verse. Oh, now, Studio Verse. Yeah. yeah, Studio Verse is this online sh uh, preset, preset chain library where we have lots of presets for Studio Rack. Uh, these presets are created by artists, created by users. Like everybody can create and share their presets on this platform. Uh, and it's a really um, easy, creative way to kind of use Waves plugins um, without, you know, uh, getting too technical, sure. opening buses and oxes and all that. And just like going with the flow, you have a, a pretty encompassing uh, search engine with like tags and text, and you can search by audio. Yep. Like really fast, find a chain that does what you want and move forward. And you said it's online. Is that affiliated with Wave Central uh, or is this totally online? So like Wave Central is where you install plugins. Yeah. Uh, basically, I, I can quickly show it here. This is Studio Rack. Uh, Studio versus access from Studio Rack. Okay, so I can- Oh, it's find... embedded within Studio it's embedded. This This part is online. Okay, so yeah. this is like a kind of a website. Oh, that's basically. cool. And I can go like a uh, lead, uh, maybe uh, oh, grab Walters and like, let's say what? I like Lou Diaz preset so I can like I search for uh, Lou Diaz and so on and so forth. There's like thousands of chains, lots of artists here. So just you can, everybody can find something that would work for him. Like, That's uh, and automatically yeah. loads then the channel strip or the effects chain. Up. Yeah, so once I click this, Boom, the chain is loaded. <laughs> and you know, I, so I have the macros, which is like a really easy way to approach manipulating the sound. Yeah. Mostly they're predefined. But if you want to dig deeper, you can go into the rack and actually see the chain itself. Wow. And actually uh, tweak it further uh, from what the macros allow. Yeah. Studio rack, if you don't know, it also has parallel capabilities. So if you want to do some parallel processing setups, you don't need to worry about buses and oxes. Sure. Just do it within the studio rack and you can have like up to eight or yeah, like beyond what you would ever need. And now I want to show you what's next yep. for, for Studioverse. And that's not released yet. It's currently still a prototype, uh, probably release around Q2 2024. Uh, Coming up. And this is all about instruments. So this is Studioverse instruments. I'm just going to load up a fresh uh, uh, this yeah. is how it loads up. It currently does nothing, but uh, it's a rack. It's the same concept as Studio Rack with the macros and the racks. It, and, and now it can boast instruments. So you start, like, obviously the Waves instruments, but also any VST, other VST3 instruments from any other manufacturer. No way. And we have all these uh, MIDI modules, like an arpeggiator, chord generator, key and scale transposition, velocity, all these kind of utilities that allow you to manipulate the MIDI. And it allows for some really complex and intricate presets to be designed on this. So like once we give this to content creators, they gonna they be able to design like really cool stuff. And then you'll get those through Studioverse directly into your DAW. You, so know? you could take you could take a, a contact sample, load it into here, and then you can arpeggiate it using this music rack that's so cool yeah. and and you can like do a parallel midi path where you have like a contact on one path and then an omnisphere on the second yeah kind of layer things together and one would be arpeggiating and the other would be generating chords and like really end the possibility waves is doing the impossible and it's getting contact and omnisphere to get along that's amazing <laughs> yeah definitely. well yanni thank you so much man this has been such yeah. a yeah such a pleasure Waves, Waves Pro Audio, both live and studio. They're doing so much cool stuff. Really appreciate your time. Fullcompass.com and keep following, keep watching our live streams and comment for what you want to see. Yeah.